Hi everyone! So today I'm finally bringing you guys what I got for a Christmas haul. So before I get started, I just wanted to say um, a lot of my videos I'm still catching up on. So currently I uploaded a collection video on Monday, a collection room tour. And then on Wednesday I did I think a Hot Topic haul, which was filmed back I think still in like September. So I'm still playing catch up. I've been really regular. I did take last week off. My last week uploading schedule was kind of all over the place because I was sick. Like Christmas and then after Christmas for like two weeks I was super sick and um, at that point I think I already had like videos pre-uploaded so I was good there but then last week with taking some time off I wasn't prepared with videos so hopefully I'm not going to get behind again. I also haven't been vlogging, so there's not going to be any new vlogs anytime soon. Um, I still have um, Christmas decorations up, obviously, because I was waiting to film this video, and it is already January 21. So, this girl is very behind. So, without further ado, let's just get this Christmas haul started. <laughs> So first up, I want to show you this. This is something that my mom got me. Our mall had these really cool uh, frames. You could get like a ton of different designs. She got me Hello Kitty. And I'm going to be putting this above my collection room door before you walk in. And it actually fits there perfect. But the main thing that I really loved about this was the frame. You could get pink or purple, I think, for girl colors. And I liked both, so it didn't really matter. If I had to choose between the two designs, I really liked Hello Kitty and the Barbie one. So the Barbie one would have looked good with like the purple frame. Hello Kitty would have looked good with the pink frame. So she just got my name put on it. So yeah. Really awesome gift right here. I'm excited to have this. And excited to have Steven hang it up for me because he loves hanging things up for me. And then for another big item, I of course got a new Keyblade from... Turbo, and this is it here. Um, I think he told me the name, but I don't quite remember. Um, to me, it looks like a Mushu type blade, like a Mulan um, for Kingdom Hearts 2, I think was when Mulan was in it. But again, I'm not 100% sure what the name is, but this is the only one he could find that was actually like metal because we are more into like the metal swords than the like foam ones. So, yeah. This is another big item that I got. It's really cool. I'm really glad that I didn't hang up my Keyblades yet, which I was already going to hang them with the intent of potentially having more. So part of my wall is just going to be bare when I hang these. So, yeah. <laughs> now, this pile is huge. If you guys cannot see, um, there's just some random stuff sitting here. But it's already getting dusty. It's like, what the heck? Um, <laughs> I need to get this stuff put away. But my sister got me this book here, which is Be Good or Be Bad on Your Birthday. This was actually supposed to be a birthday gift, but I got it for Christmas. Um, she said, this is a birthday gift I meant to give you, and I never got around to giving it to you. So here it is. So I got that from my sister. And then I also got this from her, so this was technically my Christmas gift. And it's just a Beauty and the Beast keepsake ornament. Well, belt ornament. Um, I'm trying to get my family things out first. My mom got me this Christmas bracelet here. This Christmas charm bracelet. I don't wear too much gold, but she got one for herself too. But it's a really pretty bracelet. And then she also got me this Minnie Mouse scarf, and she got herself one, too. <laughs> we like pretty much the same things. And then in here is a Mickey Mouse door hanger, which I didn't even actually open to look at it, because I didn't want to take it out of the... out of here. So we're going to look at it together now. Oh, I see. This is like the things that go 
over your framework. So this could go like even in here over the framework. I'm thinking when it says door hanger, I'm thinking like for your doorknob. No, it's door hanging plaque. So that's really cool. It's Christmas, so it's kind of a bummer that it's like I'm only able to hang around Christmas time. But still, that's really, really cool. And then also from my mom, she got me this Unicorns Rainbow Swirl Maker. And it's an only at Toys R Us. So it's like a, um ice cream, I think, kind of thing. Something that's probably really unhealthy and not part of my diet. And then she got me this Disney Mickey and Minnie coloring book. 100 images to inspire creativity. And it's just a really cute um, coloring book. Granted, I probably won't color in it because it's just the images I feel like are beautiful just the way they are because this looks like a lot of like more classic Mickey and Minnie and I like that. I also got a Nutcracker pop-up book. I collect a lot of pop-up books. So this is the pop-up book that I got this year. I have quite the collection. I have a lot of pop-up books. And then she also got me this Powerpuff Girl game. I love the old Powerpuff Girl games that came out when I was a kid. I still have them. And I don't know if this is supposed to be similar to one of them. Because I know there was like two different Powerpuff Girl games. And I think I only got one of them. Possibly. But I'm not sure. So yeah. I will definitely love playing this. So I'll have to like force Steven and Turbo to play with me. Because that's what I have to do when it comes to these kind of games. They don't like playing them with me. And then from also for my mom, I got this Bath and Body Works Bellerina. And I thought this was really, really cute when we were there. So she ended up going back and apparently buying it for me. So I have another Bath and Body Works plug-in. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the stuff is from Turbo and Steven. Oh wait, no, these my mom, she I was with her when she bought these, and she bought like a full case of these um Steamboat Willie. Um, no dorbs, I think they're called, and or domes, and then she got, she got herself a full set, and then she obviously had some extras, so she gave me her doubles. So I think the only one that I'm missing is Pete in this set. So yeah, I got all of these. So next I'll show. Um. I'll show what Turbo got me because I think that's going to be the easiest next. But yeah, these are collectibles and they're getting dusty from the bird. So I really need to get these put away. So Turbo got me this, I believe this is something like off of Wish. They're like bootlegs, but still I love them. But it comes in this really cool Pokemon tin. And look how cute these pins are. Like, oh my gosh. Of course, um... The cute little Eevees are my favorite. The uh, Umbreon and I don't remember this one's name. But this one is my favorite. For sure. Out of all the Eevees. I mean Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon and regular Eevee are cool. But no. That one's definitely my favorite. But these are all so freaking cute. And of course he got them for me because I love the cutesy factor of it. And yeah, even though I don't know all the Pokemon, he still... Got me the cute little chipified ones. And this was something that came off of Wish too. But I don't want to lose any pieces. But this is the uh, Fortnite light machine gun. And this was my favorite gun to use in Fortnite. And they got rid of it. <laughs> I'm sure they'll bring it back at some point. I know a lot of people want the drum gun back too. Um, drum gun was kind of like around for a while when I played like the season that I started but I didn't really like use it that often I was still kind of like a noob go coming into the game so I didn't really know what guns I liked and which guns I didn't like so he got me uh this, I think it's a keychain it's supposed to be a keychain but I'll use it as a collectible of the light machine gun 
so yeah. There's a lot of Fortnite, like, authentic merchandise coming out now, and I really am tempted to buy a lot of it, but I haven't yet, so <laughs> I'm just going to hold off on that. And then this was, I think, like a little freebie or something that came, he said that came with it. So it's one of the Crescent Moon necklaces, and I've actually been wanting one of these for a while, so it kind of worked out perfect. And then he also got me this Kingdom Hearts Keyblade keychain set. So cool. I mean, I'm in love with it. It's got the Oath Keeper and the Ultimate Weapon. I think it's the Ultimate Weapon or Ultimatum Weapon. I don't know, something. I know I can't even slide this out, of course. But the Oath Keeper, Oblivion, and the Ultimate Weapon have always been my favorite. So, I mean, Halloween Town 1 is pretty cool, too. Um, for the Halloween factor of it, but yeah, so I got this. Here is the back of the art. As of right now, Kingdom Hearts is coming out next week. I am so excited. I am so ready. You guys are going to be seeing this on Friday, so it's only going to be a few more days. I'm going to have to stay away from the internet for a few days because obviously the game is coming out in Japan first, and I am not about to get spoiled. I went into the first and second game completely blind, only seeing a little preview for the first game and then the cutscene at the end of the first game and I, I am ready. I am ready. So ready. And then when I opened this at first, I was like, oh, I thought it was like a, or a Howl's Moving Castle art book, but no, he actually got me the Howl's Moving Castle, like the, um, you put this together, it's like a statue. And there's like little tools and glue and scissors. And yeah, I see this is the side I saw first. So this is probably going to be a very complicated hot mess. It's probably going to take me a long time to do. So I probably will film myself putting this together kind of like what I did with my Lego videos. Because this looks freaking awesome. I'm so stinking excited about that. Um, otherwise, I think that's it that I got from, oh no, that's not it that I got from Turbo. So we're going to hold off on the Turbo things because there's more back here, but I have to get through some of the stuff Steven got me. So he got me one of the Mickey Mouse collectible pens. This is, I believe these are the 90th ones. Yep, 90 years of magic. This is just the black and white Mickey. I don't know if this one's got a specific name. It just says Mickey the True Original. Super cute pen topper. And I actually... Oh, excuse me. I have hiccups. I have collected tons of, like, ink pens like this from, like, when I was growing up. My mom would get those for me. And I didn't necessarily use them all the time. I just... I always had these cool pens with, like, toppers on them. So it just kind of worked out perfect that he got me one of those. And then... Steven got me these. Actually, I got these for myself, but I'm like, here, give these to me for Christmas because I'm going to actually put these in my um, computer room to use on my chair, and I thought these little cupcake pills were so cute. Um, I, I'm just totally in love with these, and Five Below didn't have much of them, so I just got two, but it looks like there's like glue. Yeah, it includes pre-cut fabric pieces, glue thread, one sewing needle, polyfill, which I'm guessing is like cotton, right? And then instructions. Don't know what the glue, oh the glue is probably for the rhinestones, that's what the glue is for. So yeah, not too complicated. Steven got me my Madoka or Madoka, I think it's Madoka, for sure. And I've been wanting this for so long. I hope he didn't pay a bunch of money for this because I did see Monica at Barnes & Noble one time on a far away Barnes & Noble. And I was tempted to get it, but it was expensive there. I think it was probably like $35. And I didn't. Stupid me. But I've been wanting these ever since. And I'm like, well, I don't really want to buy it if I can't find Homura. So... I didn't end up getting that. I think they came out with this set in a open eyes and a closed eyes one. But I always wanted to get Homura and Madoka. I loved these ones. And you can get, I think, some of like the school uniform ones on Amazon. 
right now that are like super cheap like really really cheap so I got that one I have Homera in here too but she's oh she's way over here I found her here she is there's Homera so we have Ultimate Modica and Devil Homera together and they hold hands and they lay down and they're super cute and adorable. I love this show so much. This is like the new Sailor Moon I feel like for me. Like I love Sailor Moon but like watching it outside of Sailor Moon Crystal obviously. Um, but like the classic Sailor Moon I was always so excited about that. This is like a darker version with superheroes and magical girls and really cute. So I love that movie slash show so much. And then this also came from Turbo, which is the metal uh, figures. This is the Sorcerer's Apprentice or Sorcerer Mickey. This is one that I really, really wanted. And then I also want to get the bell, the two bell ones. But I have never seen them in actual stores. So I don't know if they were an exclusive somewhere. I haven't even really checked Amazon. I should check Amazon sometime and see if they have it. If my camera just moved, Mr. Gray... He's currently hungry. I'm trying to fast him, trying to get him to move around, get some exercise. So he's he's on a food hunt. But for a couple sweaters, you guys I think saw some of the gifts that I got in my Christmas Day Vlogmas video. I will link that down below if you guys haven't seen that yet. But this is one thing I had to wait for. This is why it also took me a while because I actually got this in a different size. Um, he got me a large originally, and it fit fine, but I just, I love my sweatshirts, big and baggy, and this one's more of like the juniors kind of sweatshirts, where they're kind of shorter, and they're not like the oversized sweaters, or like the guy, universal sex sweaters, so this one already was a little smaller, and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to an extra large, they do have plus sizes in this as well, but normally when you start going past the extra large when it comes to these kind of sweaters, they don't necessarily get longer, they just get wider. So, yeah, then they just start working, like looking really out of proportion. So, I just got an extra large. So, this is so pretty. I love the Spirited Away image on here. This is, what's his name? Haku or Kuhaku River. He is so awesome. This is an awesome sweater. Glad to have this. So, yes, I've got that one. And then this one, I was wearing my Christmas sweater on Christmas, but then I switched to this as soon as I opened it because I'm like, yes, I'm wearing this sweater. So it's inside out currently. This one is a size large because I want this one to be like more of a fitted sweater. So, if you guys are wondering like size wise, <clears throat> So here is Totoro, and I absolutely love this sweater. It's cute. I love the way it looks on me. I am just totally obsessed with the sweater. I wasn't even, that wasn't even on my Christmas list. He just bought that for me, and I'm so glad he did because I love it. And then he got me a couple new hats. I love these hats. I've seen them at Meijer. I can't believe he actually bought them for me. And they are so cute. It's like, I already have enough cute hats. Like, I don't really need more. But, oh my gosh, I love, I love these hats so much. They're so pretty. Look at the fluff. And the rhinestones. I just, I love, I love this so much. It's like, one of my favorites. And it looks more adultish versus my kiddish ones that I have. And then I did get one Fortnite Funko Pop from c -Ben. And the ones on this list that I would really like to have outside of this one is probably the Cuddle Team Leader and the Red Nose Radar. Um, I don't know, I'm surprised why they had the Radar but not Nagop. So that's really weird. But he got me Bright Bomber. She's definitely my favorite character to play as. Um, I think she, yep, she has her black back bling too. So super cute. I love this. I'm always playing as Bright Bomber. And got me two of these. Oh gosh, 
gosh, they're so dusty. But these are the figure arts zeros of my Melody and the little twin stars. He actually did get me both versions of this, but these are kind of expensive. They're $35.95 each, and I told him, I'm like, I don't need both of them, you know. I, I'm totally fine with just one. So I got just the regular colored ones because I like the pink and the blue better. I'm all about that pastel color. So yeah, I ended up taking back the other one and kept this one because I didn't need both sets. But then I also have the My Melody, which this one's a lot cheaper. This one's only 25, but that's also probably because it's only one character. And she does have an interchangeable um, face as well. So she has her smiley face and like a shocky face. So it looks like this one had two different colors too. It has like the pink one and like a red one. But I like the pinky colored one. And then just for like a fun, fun little buy, he got me the Nest Quick set. I saw this at Walmart and I'm like, that's so cute. I need this. I love the little spoons. I don't even know if the spoons are metal or if they're plastic. I haven't even opened this yet. But it just comes with some Nest Quick chocolate and then the two cups. And then the two spoons. So just something really cute. Something just fun. And I think he said that was kind of like my stocking stuffer. But it's obviously way too big to put in a stocking. And then I also got the Sailor Moon Monopoly. This thing is so beautiful. Like look at the inside of this. I am so, so excited to play this. And look at the little um, characters or your play pieces. Those are amazing. I'm just, I'm obsessed with this. So of course the rare ones are, or the rare places are Neo Queen, Serenity, and Ken Endymion. So yeah, these are just so cute. Perfect. I am love. I am so going to open this and play this. This is something like, it is a collector's item, but I have a lot of monopolies and I actually like playing my monopolies. So one that I got as a kid was my Wizard of Oz one and I played the crap out of that one. I love my Wizard of Oz one. So let's get these out of the way. Oh, something's falling over back there. <laughs> but Steven got me my Oliver and Dodger, because I forgot his name for a hot second there. Oliver and Dodger plushies. This movie, like I love this movie so much, but I can't watch it because it makes me cry and I am obsessed or I'm just always so sad. And my dog is trying to steal my stuffed animals, and I knew this was going to happen as soon as I picked these up. But I just, I cannot handle movies with animals. Like, I'm just so, like, big-hearted when it comes to animals. Like, I can't see anything sad. I can't see anything like an animal dying in a video or anything. Or, you know, being mistreated. Even if it is just a movie, I'm like, I can't. I cannot... So if there's an odd animal movie, I'm not watching it because I, I can't. I cannot handle it. Samuel! <laughs> so you guys get a nice view of my dog's butt right now because he's just all up in my space. It's just normal. How about we go back on our bed? No? Okay. Guess he's going to hang out here with us now. So here's Samson. Say hi, Samson. No, no, no. Okay, you are beelining for my stuffed animals. <laughs> Let's go back over here. You have a million ones over there, and you always go for mommies. So I'm going to show you guys this one real quick. I don't think I'm going to keep the styrofoam that this is in because I'm going to display it in my collection and probably just throw this away because it's not really a collectible box or anything. So let's just get those open so I can throw it away. Samson's so excited about this. So here is this Lumiere plate. This was on my Christmas list and I don't even know how much this was, but I was not actually expecting him to get it. So I was actually working on my shelf, which you guys will see in or my in collection tour if you saw that on Monday. Um, I completely forgot that I got this already, so I'm going to have to go up there and rearrange it again already <laughs> and uh, put this in there because this is something I do want to display in that collection. So I'll probably take that um, Premiere Series bell downstairs with the rest of my limited edition dolls. So here's Lumiere looking freaking amazing as a dish because now I can put this in my collection so I have Lumiere. 
and then I can display things on top here too and I'm pretty sure this is glass and this is heavy so I'm gonna put this over here so it's safe for now and I can get rid of this big huge styrofoam box okay and then also I got this from Steven I actually have two of these right now the other one is actually sitting on my kitchen table but we got it and there's still a price sticker on it and it actually is broke and then the second one came and that one's broke as well he hasn't called them uh, for a third time but you know it's just a water bottle but this whole section is coming apart and that is not supposed to happen obviously because there is a bunch of glitter in here and then you have like the stickers um, I don't I think they're on the inside but yeah that's not supposed to happen so I cannot even use this as a water bottle I already have glitter on my hands from just that little bit so um yeah I don't know what we're gonna do I don't know if he's gonna call me again and tell him hey it's still broke but yeah so I have two water bottles that I can't use as water bottles okay we're getting closer to the end here but I have like random things all over the place <laughs> So I guess I'll show you guys these real quick. These came from Steven's brother, Josh. Oh, I'm sure you guys have seen him in my videos before. That's not going to work. So I got these two, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Funko Pops. So he got me the Hot Topic exclusive with the um, Toy Story outfit. And then this is just the Kingdom Hearts 3 Mickey. And then... This is also a Hot Topic exclusive, but this is just Christmas Town Sora. I don't think this is, it just this Kingdom Hearts, so this isn't based off of like the Kingdom Hearts um, 3, but these two are Kingdom Hearts 3, right here. So there's also Ventus and Riku apparently in this line, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot more. I, just, I don't know why they're not displayed on the back, but yeah, I'm surprised Steven didn't give me any Kingdom Hearts 3 Funko Pops. So luckily his brother and him didn't really even like talk about it, so I didn't get any doubles. And then Steven also got me these. I'm pretty sure he got these from Box Lunch. But they are Kiki's Delivery Service. And then you open up the little house. And then this one is Totoro and this was so cute. May is on the back chasing the little Totoros. And then it's got the two little cloths in here as well. This is so freaking cute. So cute. But I probably will never take these out of the display box because the display boxes are freaking cute. So there's those. And then Steven also got me this. This was on my Christmas list. And it's a Walt Disney travel journal. And you just basically put in here, like, who this belongs to, um, how I got the greatest news, just, like, more for kids of, like, how they got to go to Disney World as, like, a surprise or something. And then the trip took how many hours to get there, depending on if you fly or drive. And just a bunch of stuff you can do. And then you also have back here... Um, magical odds and ends so you have little folders and it's just it's so cute I love this little journal it's adorable and then I'll get my electronic old out of the way here I'm sorry I don't have my tree on by the way um, the tree kind of like messes with me or messes with my camera view so half the time when I'm filming and this is on it's actually um, not letting it focus. I think I, that happened last year when I filmed this video um, and I actually looked at the footage from Christmas morning and it's all blurry. <laughs> so for PlayStation 4 games I got Spiral so but I can't play this until I get my new PlayStation that's coming next week because I pre-ordered or Steven pre-ordered the Kingdom Hearts PlayStation Pro for me and I'm so stinking excited. <laughs> He's such a good husband. He got that for me. I didn't even know it came out. And all of a sudden, like, he says, oh, I'm going to tell you about one of your gifts because you're going to know what it is anyways and or you're going to bother me about it later. And I'm sitting here, like, confused. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what could he possibly be talking about? 
So later on that night or the next day, I found out that that got released and I was instantly like, <gasps> Steven, you better have ordered this for me. You need to tell me now that this is ordered and it's sold out already. I need this PlayStation. And of course he did. So I'm very thankful for that. I was freaking out and thinking I missed out. I've been waiting and waiting and they just announced it randomly. Nobody saw it coming and yeah. So that's what happened. And then I also got Tomb Raider and this I think came out on the Xbox like last year. Maybe it was even two years ago already and it didn't get released on the PlayStation right away but now it is and it was cheaper and I got this. So my two favorite games of all time were Kingdom Hearts and Tomb Raider and these are ones that I usually play as soon as they come out buy them pre-order them whatever it is. But um, this one, I didn't. I decided to wait because I'm. they're okay. The new Tomb Raiders are just okay. They're very, I feel like, easy. Versus before, I feel like there was more puzzles and it was a little harder um, back when they were on the computer, when I played them on the computer. And then for a couple movies, he got me in this corner of the world. Um, I wanted a lot of anime movies, but I told him don't buy them if they're not a good deal. And then I got the Satellite Girl and Milk Cow. And this one looks really cute, so he got me this one. And then the rest are DS games, and he got me Hometown Story. And this one looked really cute. It kind of looked like um, a Harvest Moon. Oh yeah, the family of Harvest Moon. So I haven't played Harvest Moon. But um, I was excited to play those ones. And then he got me the Story of Seasons. This is the first one. There's also Trio Towns. But I obviously want to play the first one first. And yay. So now I can play this. Because I'm not going to start getting into the Harvest Moon. Because that's been around for so long. I will be never catching up on that. And I'm sure you don't need to play every single story. But... I just like to play this story of seasons. It looks really freaking cute, so. And then he got me Mario Party, the top 100. And I don't know, did this even come out like on a regular system? Like, I wonder if it did. Cause I would probably rather have it like on the Wii U or something. Not that I'm thinking about it, but I of course love Mario Party, so. This has got all the ranges from Mario Party 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And obviously with having classic ones restored, I am excited to try that out. And then one of my favorite gifts he got me, I finally got Cogsworth! Finally, 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 finally. I was hoping to get this last year and I didn't get it last year and I was so sad and he got it for me this year. So I got, I think Lumiere I got like two years ago and now I finally have Cogsworth. His um, clock thing is a little loose. He said that they didn't pack it really well and um, he said he could fix it though. I'm at least hoping. I don't really know what's going on with it but we'll have to take it out and hopefully it's all good. So we have got Cogsworth. He's not even really like in here that good if we're being perfectly honest. Like I hope he's okay with being tumbled around so much. This box is really kind of shitty. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take him out later. Okay, where was I? The husband ended up calling so I had to take a short break. But um, Steven also got me these. This is the Totoro um, pop-up note cards. And they are so cute. This is definitely something that I love collecting are just like little simple little note cards. I actually got a little Totoro, um, or not Totoro, was it? I think it was Porco Rosso, a, a postcard from somebody in my P.O. box. And just like little things like that, I love. Just getting like a little note on a postcard, it's like perfect because you know I display it in my collection. And it's just, it's perfect and I love it. Um, and then I got this one. Which one is this one? This is the postcard collection. So it doesn't show all of them. So this is all my neighbor Totoro postcards. 
and this is so freaking cute. I wish they'd make these in like the other movies, like Howl's Moving Castle. I mean, I'm sure like Japan probably has a lot of these. And then I know Disney World had note cards like this, and I think I've mentioned it before where I had some that I bought in Japan in Disney, but I I had them when I lived at my brother's house. Um, and then when I moved here, I remember shoving them inside a book so they wouldn't get bent or wrecked. And I thought it was like one of my push and play Sailor Moon books, but I have no idea where they are. I have not seen them in years. So they're around, but I just, I don't know where around they are. And then from his parents, I got some Pandora stuff. So I got the... Mickey Pendant Pandora necklace and I have to get charms for the inside of this still so I just have the necklace and then they also got me the Pandora jewelry box so I'm pretty sure this is like during one of the free offers I still haven't even filmed my Pandora collection which is on my list of things to do I'm hoping 2019 we're going to do a different type of video uploading schedule and we're going to be doing more collections. That's my goal. It's what I really want to do. So here is the top of the jewelry box. I Honestly, I think I like my first one better, a lot better that I got. And then this just has the bottom little pop-out drawer. Like this one's pretty, but I for sure like the other one better. But it's always good to have a couple of these jewelry boxes for my jewelry, especially since it just like kind of keeps growing. I don't have like a huge collection of Pandora, but I do have a collection. And I like to keep it separate out of my other jewelry boxes and keep them in the specific Pandora jewelry boxes. So that's nice to have. And then also from his parents, I got this one. These are like slipper socks and just says... Just relax, and I love the colors, it's uh, the gray, uh, white, and purple. And then Steven got me some jewelry, so now I can finally put this up in my jewelry box. He got me a Sailor Moon pendant necklace, and I actually have a Sailor Moon dress, so this would like work perfect with that when I wear it. And then he got me eh, Chibi Moon's Time Key. And I love this one. It's so cute. This is definitely going to stay in my collection. I think my cat is chewing something because, like I said, he's hungry. And he starts chewing things when he's hungry. He's a weird one. So, Samson already just got the kitty to keep him in check because he was chewing on something. And Samson doesn't approve. And then he got me these earrings, which are all the Sailor Scout symbols. You baby, you're such a good boy. Um, and then he got me this necklace here, which is very pretty, but this is gonna be more of like a summer necklace because of the long chain. Um, but they did have matching earrings, but I actually wore the matching earrings already um, because they looked very like snowflakey. So I think I wore them on Christmas is when I was wearing them. So I got those, and then also I got some more Sailor Moon earrings. Them out here. This is one thing that I like about ordering things online is that they come in these packages and you know they haven't been messed with. So I got these ones which have got some of the um, brooches and then the bows and then Luna and Artemis. Pretty sure, yeah, Luna and Artemis. So you could put Luna on one and Artemis on the other if you wanted to do that. Otherwise you can just wear the same ones in the same ear. Okay, and then I also got these two pin sets, well, this pin set and this pen, and these are the little Pegasus from, okay, Box Lunch Collection, a nimble pen. I don't know exactly what the scene is called, but it's from Pantasia, and I always loved this scene with the little horses. I don't know if they're Pegasus because I don't know if they have horns. But they're so, so, so cute. And then he got me this Christmas pin with Mickey and Pluto. And I, I just love that we're getting like these really cool pins, even like through like Box Lunge or the company, what is the company? 
lounge fly because they're really good pens. They're high quality and it's like having a little taste of Disney World here. So I'm really liking that. And then these are things that are going to be a little harder to show you guys. But Turbo got me a bunch of these posters. So this has got like all of the Studio Ghibli like characters on it. I love it so much. And I just, I love the way that they're printed. Um, I know these are like totally fake, probably a bootleg, but you want to know what? I love the images on these so much. Only one of them kind of got a little damaged in shipping. Well, I guess this one did too. So we've got Totoro here. Like a classic Totoro scene. And then this one is Princess Mononoke. This one is actually the one that's like in perfect condition. Um, this one's kind of got some like wrinkles in it. And then this one's Kiki. So it's kind of a bummer because you can kind of see the wrinkles in it. I just, I love this one too. Halloween Castle and Kiki's, I would have to say, are probably my two favorites of all time of this. I mean, I love Cat Returns and I love Totoro and I love Spirited Away. So it's like, I don't know, Kiki's was like my first. And then Howl's Moving Castle, well, Spirited Away was my second and Howl's Moving Castle was my third. And I loved Howl's Moving Castle. I wish he'd make a story like that again. Like these really good stories from like Kiki's to Spirited Away, Howl's. Totoro. It's just some of them are more kiddish and some of them are just kind of boring. So <laughs> I just love those so much. Oh, I also have some more pins down here. I fell back here though. I thought I got more pins with Steven. So I got this classic 90 years Mickey. And then I also got these two Christmas pins. Like I was going to say, I thought I got more Christmas ones. And then here, this I wasn't even sure what they were, but these are actually the PlayStation decals. So I asked Steven, I'm like, would you let me deface our, you know, other PlayStation here and put the Kingdom Hearts ones on there? He's like, I don't care. So I'm totally going to be putting these on our PlayStation that's currently up here. And I hope that this will fit it because I don't know if the PlayStation Pro looks different or if this is for like the regular PlayStation. So that's one thing I'll have to find out first as well. Otherwise, I'll just put that with my book collection of Kingdom Hearts stuff. And then from my dad, I got the HP Sprockets. And I am so happy with this because I think I did, I don't know if I did a haul or not from Black Friday. But I got a notebook or a planner, um scrapbooking set and I started I wanted to start making like pages in there of like memories and you've got the let's just say the I don't know what they're called like the instant camera ones and those are really cool and I really wanted to get one of those cameras but in reality just the sprocket was going to be so much better because you can actually like edit and do your video things on your phone and print them out when you're ready and then you're not obligated to be like oh I want to take this camera with me and you know if you're having a really great time and you're taking pictures with friends and you want to make a page out of it you have them in your phone with the date and everything that you know where it came from so this just kind of was like the better solution so I got this one which is it's like holographic so it kind of like changes in the lighting and I really like that I just I didn't even know if this was like a limited edition or an exclusive or whatever, but this was the cheapest one on Amazon and I basically just sent them the link to this one or a picture of this one saying that I don't care what color I get, this one was just the cheapest one that's on Amazon. So they also have like a white and gold one that I know is pretty popular, but I really like that one. So then they also got me a case for it. So that's even more perfect. So I have a little kit to put it in. I mean, I'm not planning on taking the printer all over God's green earth, but you know, I, I, it's nice to have a case. So I'll be in a nice case within my desk when I do use it. So that will be very nice. So I'm on my last, last bit of stuff here. 
I think I'm actually, my mom got me some Disney World pins too, but um, she completely forgot to give those to me and I haven't received them yet. So that's like another thing that I got that's not in this haul. And then I think that's, that's pretty much it. I think everything else is pretty much in this haul. So, um, yeah. I got these from Steven because they had the sale again at Christmas. Buy two, get one free. And I, I, I love these versions. Like, if I would have known these were going to be coming out, bef like, you know, before the other manga came out, I would have just not even bothered paying money into the other manga and just got these ones because these ones are amazing. And I mean, the one thing downfall is I wish they were all completely full color. That's one thing that's kind of a bummer, but I love the I love the paper that they used for this instead. I mean, they do have colored pages at every chapter. I love how big they are. I just I love this. It just reminds me a lot of like the old art books that they came out with back in the day that I have collected um, but it's definitely going to take some time to collect the whole collection but um, yeah this is just these are amazing and I'm really glad to have these I just wish they would have printed them in full color that would have just been even better I mean these are already cover price $27.99 which is whew, that's way up there I get that these are probably more expensive to print but full color pages guys for $30 full colored pages. I mean, would it have cost that much more for colored pages? I don't really know. But I got that one and I got volume two and obviously with the buy two get one free sale, he pre-ordered the third volume for me. And that is currently not out yet. So I just have the first two volumes, but I will be getting this whole collection, but I probably will again wait for Barnes and Noble sale on manga and get the rest of them. So I don't have to pay so much money. And then he also got me the Thomas Kincaid therapy coloring book or just the coloring book. But again, this is one that I will not be painting or coloring in. I'm just going to put this in my Disney collection because what they have is they have the colored page and then they have a regular page that's not colored. And I just wanted this for the art. Like it's so beautiful. I'm just, this is like one thing that I always love to collect. I love to collect a lot of like classic Disney things like from back in the 80s and 90s like old retro stuff and then like books. Books are like the thing I love collecting whether I read them or not just like looking at the pictures it's just there it's just something about going in there and like looking at my pictures and my art books and stuff and it's something that I love to have in my collection. And then he also got me these magazines. These are the manga magazines, and I'm pretty sure these are printed in Canada. So if I have any Canadians watching my videos, I'm so jealous that you guys have these because I, I'm obsessed. These are so pretty. And we couldn't find the other volumes. I think this one here is... I think like the third volume. I don't even know. Where do I see the volumes? I know I saw them somewhere. Oh, and this one got like really damaged on the top there. Which I told Steven to contact them and tell them that it got damaged. I don't know if he ever did or not. But this is one that I did see in Barnes & Noble. But Barnes & Noble ended up like having it and then they got rid of it like right away. So I missed out on buying it there. Yeah, it just says printed in the UK. So anybody from the UK, this book is awesome. You should check it out. But yeah, I don't I don't know what volumes these are. I know I saw them somewhere at one point. Oh, this is volume two. So this one is volume two. And I don't know what volume this one is. So I'm missing volume one and what other volumes have come out and I want to get all of those because I love that magazine. And then he also got me, this one was just the Taco USA. I had this on my list and I wanted it because it's got a thing in here for the Sailor Moon um, movie. Here's Sailor Moon Crystal Reviews 
And then I'm pretty sure they had the Sailor Moon, the newest movie in here. Let's see if I can find find the page. Maybe this isn't the one with it. This one says anime review Sailor Moon Crystal. And then this might be the one he just randomly bought me because it had the Sword Art Online on the cover. And I think he saw like people who bought this frequently bought this as well so he just bought them both for me so in here yep right here so this one's got the Sailor Moon S movie page 24 so here we go it's got all the Sailor Moons in here and this is why I wanted this volume because of that right there so that will be going in my Sailor Moon collection and then he also got me the Nutcracker and the Four Realms. This is the official Collector's Edition magazine. And there's a little, like, gem on here. I had these gems stuck everywhere. But the back even just looks amazing. I love how this one came in this nice, um, this nice sleeve. So I'll probably just end up leaving it in this sleeve for when I put it in my collection. But yeah, that's pretty much it that I have gotten for Christmas. Um, I do have one thing that I did want to show you guys that I got after Christmas. Because this was something that was on my Christmas list, but I told him it was so expensive. Don't bother. He ended up putting it in the Amazon cart, and then I went in there, and I noticed that it, like, price reduced under $10. And that is the Fairy Wand. So I ended up picking this up right away. I'm like, oh, that's cheap. I'm getting it. And I always wanted me to get this. I saw them even at like um, Toys R Us, but even on the clearance sales, they were still so expensive. So I got this for like little to nothing, and I'm really excited because I really like collecting um, different like Magical Girl wands and stuff. So yeah, I don't know if this currently has batteries that are even good. So this is the Fairy Princess Fern, which I think is the pink one. Yep, and then there's Willow and Lily. So I have, I'm keeping an eye on the other ones. Some of the boy ones, the dragon ones, went really cheap too, but I'm not really interested in getting those ones. I just wanted to get these three girl ones. So if I don't get the other two, that's totally fine. I have this one, so I'm pretty happy with this. I can't, can't go wrong. So yeah, that is everything that's, I'm going to show you guys for this video. So if you guys would like to see a what Steven got for Christmas video, definitely let me know. Um, he's got his stack over there. We haven't put any of his things away yet either. So if you guys are interested in seeing that video, just uh, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. And I want to do a lot this year for you guys for my channel. I want to do collection videos and um, more different, more crafty videos and just better... <laughs> better better videos um that's at least the plan uh, I only have been doing like haul videos lately because that's all I really have time for because I've filmed them all in one sitting and then I can post them and then I just got so far behind because I stopped uploading but I had the videos so I'm still trying to play catch up from that but once I get around to catching up on that kind of stuff I'm going to start filming other videos but I'm currently working in the collection room so that's going to be the first priority is working in there so I'm going to try and give you guys like monthly if not weekly updates on that whether I make a separate video or put it in a vlog you guys will see them on my channel so definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you guys know when I do upload something with a collection video or a collection room so yeah I will talk to you guys all soon in my next video bye everyone